Now we can go ahead and think about putting the motor on. First you want to put your little pinion gear on. Um, now that pinion gear, it's going to, the size of it will kind of be determined by the size of the motor you choose. So I can't just give you a, a pick this one and it should work. Um, but the faster your motor spins, the smaller you're going to want your pinion gear to be. Um, so this one here, which I haven't actually tested one this small, but this is a nine tooth pinion. But make sure you put your pinion onto your motor and we'll have to adjust it once we get it in place there. But with the pinion on there, we'll need two of our M3 screws and I like to put washers on these. Um, just to help where they grab on that slot. And it's as straightforward as poking it through there and uh, getting a screw started into it. Okay, now while things are still loose, we'll want to look down on that pinion gear and just make sure you want it, you want those teeth to line up um, as good as they can with that spur gear. So we'll just kind of get those to line up. Then go ahead and tighten down that little grub screw on the pinion. There we go. And then we can go ahead and adjust our the position of our motor until it meshes well with that spur gear. You don't want it too tight, but you certainly don't want it really loose either. You want those gears to, to mesh in there pretty clean. Once you've got that position figured out, go ahead and tighten down those two screws. There we go. Okay, so once you've got that in a good spot, just make sure that these screws are nice and snug so that's not going to move on you. And now you're at the point where if you wanted to, you could hook up your speed controller and grab a receiver. And you can hook in and uh, be ready to test. Now once you've got that hooked up and you've got your um, items plugged into your receiver, you might as well go ahead and do a quick test on it. Got a battery sitting here. This one isn't charged so I don't expect to see a whole lot of performance out of it, but uh, we can at least test our stuff. Just make sure that if you're doing this that you keep all your cables away from the transmission so you don't um, get it stuck in anything, transmission and track. So I'll go ahead and turn my radio on. You have to forgive, I think this uh, cooling fan is gonna be a little loud, but uh, let's go ahead and, and turn it on and see how it does. Again, keep your track off the ground when you turn it on for the first time, just to make sure it doesn't go spinning. All right, test our steering. Steering looks good, and we can test our motor. All right, I would call that a uh, successful test. 
So, uh, yeah. You should be pretty happy if you're at that point. And uh, we'll get on to making it look like a finished snowmobile in the next videos.